this just between us now. Yeah. So what do we do with that trinket then? Items. Happy anniversary, Nata. Hmm. Like, has he put the trinkets on, or...? Uh, WFL, thank you for 31. Dominoes. Dominoes? Blimey. It's a stamina buff. So, does it actually... Do we have to put it on? Or is it automatically in the recent? Permanently increases the player's stamina experience bonus by ten. It's passive, right? Okay. So we just carry it around. That's pretty good. I don't know, Miro will find out, mate. How's it been? How's it been? Hey, what do you type your horse around here? Britain. You made some tandoori chicken from a packet you bought in Japan. It was a little disappointing in the taste with like taco chicken. I don't think they like it too spicy, to be honest. It's weird, isn't it, how they have different sort of levels of heat. Easy now, partner. You blind. Join us for a guy. You blind? No. That's Texas. One for details. Here we go. I need to know the rules. Of this uh, in the draw game, the end of the game is to be the first player to put down all your dominoes. Twenty-eight unique tiles and domino set. Each player begins with seven. Draw not random, and any remaining dominoes are placed in the boneyard. Dominoes are placed face down or in a rack facing the player, so that all players can see how many tiles their opponents remain, but to only see the pips of their own. Yep. Uh, the player who's drawn the highest double. Begins the game by placing it face up in the middle. If no player has the highest double, the player with the highest value tile will go first. This creates a line of play and the other players in turn extend it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, if a player can't place any of the tiles, they take, they take a new one from the boneyard until they get a playable tile. Once the boneyard is empty, they pass. Play goes on like this until one player wins the round by downing their last tile. No player can make a move, then the round is blocked and the winner is to play with the lowest pip count. The winner scores a total pip count of all the dominoes. Uh, games continue and with new rounds until a player reaches a target score of 60. A block game follows the same rules as draw, but there's no boneyard, so players cannot draw new tiles. All threes. In an all three game, uh, points can be earned at the end of every round by totaling the number of pips at each open end of the chain. If this edge value is a multiple of three, then the player scores that many points. Does it give us a choice over which game we're going to play then? All fives for the same as the threes. Okay, let's get on with it. We'll figure the rest out. You should have brought your own chili, Brett, so. <laughs> Win rounds, baby. The first to place all of your tiles. Yep. Utiles V. It's my turn. Why is it my turn? I thought it was the person with the highest thing had to do it. Which game are we playing? 
Play time. Let's try that. View table. My God, can we not get any closer? So what's that? Four and three. I've got a four and a four. Four blank or a four one. Let's play four blank. Ooh, four blank. Fours and blanks. Threes and fours. Hmm. We've only got one that we can actually play. We don't have a three. We only have that one. I don't have all the time in the world. Let's go already. Dude, shut up. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're at a station. We've got one, so we should be able to play. That's really hard to see what's going on up there. Wait, so what's this? Is this a five? Five and a one. I need to get rid of some sixes. Let's get sixes into play. Yes, sir. <coughs> uh oh. What's we on now? Two and a three. You can play a two. Pass. Hey, cool tiger. Threes. We can still play at the moment. We may be the only one with sixes, which is really good for us. Get rid of that six. Reduces the pip count. If that All space right. remains... Oh, you Pass. scumbag. We could have chipped. We could have gone out then. We could have chipped out then. Dang it! Dang it! Well, on the plus side, we've only got one pip. We might still win this. They're all passing. We've got one pip. We've won. This is it for you, I'm afraid. You can't get less than one pip. Yay! Why didn't we win ten points? Why did he win? I don't understand. We had one pip. Why did not why did we not win that? I don't get it. He had a zero. Oh he had double zero. No. Arthur has the highest double. He had a double zero. What a scumbag. Threes and fives. Hmm. Hmm. Get rid of three. Pass me. Uh oh. All fives and he passed. That's interesting. So he doesn't have any fives. Well, I've only got one five anyway, so. So. I think you can land dirt here. Six and one. Well, I think I'd rather get rid of the six. No, I wanted him to leave that four. No. Okay, we're going to have to play the one. No, having the double uh, four left is bad. Okay, okay. Can't do anything. Oh, we've only got one play. That's that one. Pass. I doubt it's going to go back to four. Pass. I'll pass. Dang. I'm not going to win this one either. 
You beauty. Phenomenal. Not good. Well, ain't you all kinds of lucky. Yep, there. Ain't you all kinds of lucky. <laughs> ain't worth much. 123 bonus points. So did we win points based on how many pips they had left? That's interesting. That's put us in the lead. <laughs> we won a game. Arthur won the previous round and goes first. Oh my god, every time we go first. Wait. Uh, you wanna hurry this up some? Dude. I want a nice relaxing game of dominoes and he's like, can you hurry up? Five and a two. Interesting, we actually have both. I'm gonna play it as a five. No, I don't want to do that. I want to change. There we go. Never understood dominoes. What don't you get, Flamingo? So you can only play on the end, right? So you have to play the number of dots. You have to put down one of your dominoes with the same number of dots as what's on the end. That's the first thing. So I have to play a zero or I have to play a six. Or you can call it a blank. It's another term. So I have a six there, so I can I can match my six to that six, right? And thus continue the domino line. And that will leave a blank, so the next person has to match a blank or a blank. Get that? Now, you can get doubles where you can have, like, that's the same number on each side, like that, and, th and then you put it down like this. So it started as a four, they put a double four down, it carries on as a four. And that's it, really. That's, like, the most basic rules. So that's a blank and a six. So we've got to decide, do we put it down as a blank and create a six, six, Shit. or put it down as a six and create a blank, blank? Well, I'm going to put it down as a six and create a blank blank. So the next person can only play a, a tile which has a blank on it. There you go, so they put a blank five down. I'm passing. He put a double five, he's passed, so now it's to us with a blank, with a five blank. You get it? I'm gonna play that, because I wanna get rid of my four. Oh, you scumbag. Oh, that's okay. So there's no available moves. Please select on the tile. So that's a one and that's a three. We have a one, a blank. Welcome back. So the question is, what do we play here? Yeah. If we play a two, we can't play a two, two. So that's out the equation. So then the question is, do we play a one, three or a one blank? And the answer lies in the fact that if we play a one, three, we can put it down as a three and leave ones on the end. Or put it down as a one and leave threes on the end. Yeah? No, we don't want to play this. We don't want to play this. Because what that will do, it will leave it as a blank three. Anymore. Yeah? And what we want to do at this stage of the game is get rid of as many dots as we can. Because if nobody can play, the person who wins is the one with the fewest dots. So we want to get rid of this three. So when we put the three down, we can play it in either that Come mode on. or that mode. If we play it like that, it'll leave threes. We don't have a three, so we play it like that and leave it as ones. And that's where the, that's where the strategy of dominoes comes in. Yeah? It's not just about kind of putting any tile down. It's about deciding which is the best tile to put down. Can't do anything. But now we're stuck because we need twos or ones or blanks to come out. Nothing pass. <coughs> nope. Of course he can pass. change it, Paul. Of course he can. But with double ones, it's going to take two people to change it. Pass me. It's not looking good. Domino. Scumbag. Yeah, we'll I like where this is going. Dang it. Gonna get too much from me. We had tiles worth five. So we gave him five points, basically. So it's a combination of getting the right tiles 
and Give playing them well. Anything. Uh, Jeff Hardy, thank you, dude. Okay, so it's two or a blank. We only have one blank, so we could opt to get rid of it now. Or we can play a two and open it up to a three, try and get rid of a lot of our threes. So I'm probably going to try and get rid of that. There's a lot of coffin at this table, Pringle. Shit. Not good. Uh, what's that? Six and three. We don't have any sixes, funnily enough. We have plenty of threes. So we could just get rid of the double three at this stage and keep the threes running. Oh, chicken. Thank you, 32. Oh, it's all the threes. No. Right, blank one. We've only got one option. Have you noticed if you don't play immediately, the some of the someone on the table's like <coughs> sixes and fives the only choice we have is that one we've got some big big dominoes as well we need to get rid of a lot of dots here can't do anything can't do anything don't you play that too okay so he's played a five and a two of course, like the more advanced techniques come into paying attention what people put down and, and looking down here and working out which tiles are left. Boy, I ain't into that. Uh, five and two. So we could play the two and hope that nobody else has got two one. still. Nope. Oh, all the twos. Nice. I'm passing. Now, at this point, we know that none of them have twos. We can play a two and a three. And if the three stays open, we can chip out. Look at that. Domino. Cause he went before us. He chipped out first. Scumbag. You'll get precious little from me. Oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. Hey Savage. What are the sakes? One dollar. <laughs> it was a one dollar buy in. Give me something. Anything. I think it's just for fun. <coughs> uh, that's a six and a four. Six and a four. So, probably try and get rid of some sixes. We have some pretty big numbers here. So, we'll start with that. You don't want to have that around. Five and a three. That's right. Keep it coming. Five and a three. Five and a blank or a three and a two. We don't have any twos. I'm going to get rid of that. bit annoying if the camera needs to move up a little bit i can't actually see what's going on six and a one we happen to have a six and a one i think i'd rather play the six and the four because that's 10 pips let's see whose luck is here Five and a blank. We don't have a five. Oh, yeah, we do have a five. So we can make it blanks on both sides or fives. Doesn't matter to us because we don't have either, but it would matter to them. And if you look how many fives are on the table, it's a five and a five and a five and a five. Shit. Not that means good. a lot of people have got blanks, but hardly anybody's got a five. So what we could do is 
be an absolute scumbag and make pass. it fives and everybody might pass can't do anything <laughs> pass me whoops <laughs> i'll pass this is good good so that was like a strategic move this is it for you i'm afraid in theory if we did that when we had you know a low pip count it, we can this actually win the I game doing that for. we can actually do the game winning that but that i figured bad. i was going to lose anyway to be honest that was funny anyway that guy I'm won I got matters to attend to. that was fun how's it going Yep, snooking everyone, exactly. See if we can craft anything. Need to do some hunting. Uh, let's see. Some time venison. Improved throwing knife and improved tomahawk. Make some improved throwing knives. Use some predator bait and do some hunting. Yeah, I don't think I have any any predator bait. Yeah, I need to get rid of the pelt. Um, if we go back to camp, I can probably give the pelt into storage, can't I? Make something with it later. Oh, wow. Blimey. Depending updated. The improved version of throwing knife. Back. Features large blade and handle, but still remains perfectly balanced. This weapon upgrade can be crafted by combining. Yeah, we've done that. Uh, La Dirty, welcome back. Got stuff to do in Strawberry, but I want to head back to camp first. Actually, I want to go via the gunsmith. Gunsmith, and then remind me to go to the camp and get rid of this pelt. Uh, to, yeah, I need to get rid of it. Otherwise, if I hunt something, I can't keep it. A lightning flash that was awesome. Cool weather. Uh, collect what depth, Fat Man? Oh, the one next to it, yeah. the 
snake bat feather again? You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. So get out of it, please. I don't trust him this time, but we'll see. Does this guy keep getting bit by a snake? Never again. Oh, you so much, mister. Can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna stiff one tonight. Cuz he That's it. You ain't getting Do you mean in real life or in the game? Because in the game it worked quite nicely because the guy that I saved the first time he gave me quite a nice reward. In fact I still have that reward. Oh in real life. Well it works on bee stings and things like that. But yeah, by the time we did that, it's probably in his bloodstream. Isn't it? If uh, Dada isn't in real life either. <laughs> Fair play. I think the thunder sounds a bit overdone. Valentine, good look. Oh, it's crashed. Oh, man. That's like the first crash of the day. No. No. I hope it auto saved it recently. Oh, two hours we lasted. So Rockstar didn't fix it. It seems not. If it's less frequent, though, I'll, I'll be dealing with that, you know. Every two hours, I can deal with it. Yeah, we've had all the patches. You had a three to four hour session yesterday and it crashed. Mm. In the latest patch, you had a, a big long list of fixes. Uh, yes, of course I've seen this week's Apprentice. <laughs> I watch it every Wednesday. And I watch The Apprentice You're Hired or You're Fired or whatever it's called, which is funny. 
You want it in Valentine's, so you'll never get it now. Yeah, I'll sneak in with an outfit on, Bella. Yeah, I can deal with some hours, Hannah. It was when it was every like 10 minutes, that's when it was too much. But, you know, there was some pretty... There was a lot of weather, and um, we went into a town. Might have had... It might have been a factor. Did as well. that air. Easy, easy. Saved his life and he's like, thanks. He's watching out for alligators. <laughs> Got any guns from the shop to buy the bandolier and gun belt equipment so you can hold more ammunition. Let's go to the gunsmith. Chuck, thank you, fifteen. Mission for do no, don't put me into that mission. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't slow me down for the mission. <laughs> so my brother died. I saw my friends die. I, I saw my leg. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> you around. from right here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> it's nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, you reckon they was... Reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. All right, pups. Violence in Valentine. Read all about it. Hmm. 
Long time no see. Show me something. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. <laughs> Any questions, feel free not to ask. Um. Better safe than sorry. And corn beef. Done. Rob the family of all those riches. Could do. Did he tell us where they are? Hair tonic. Yours. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. But each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. <laughs> well, uh, well, not right now. But I've had my share. <laughs> anyway. I love my that. grandpa was in a rhythm. I Goodbye. I love the fact there's like dialogue banter between you and the shopkeeper. Undertaker next to the bank, eh? I see how it is. Well, I'll be damned. Go back. Well, I'll be damned. High velocity. He's putting all these. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Did I forget something? What did I forget? Revolver Express cartridges. Some man. Permanently increases capacity of repeater rifle, permanently slows degradation of all weapons by 10%. That's got to be worth it. The gun belt. Where is the gun belt? This one. Permanently increases capacity of revolver and pistol ammo by 50%. We'll have that now. Now we can actually afford it. A few things are locked. Alright, so how do I do my um customize? That's I'm looking it. forward to testing this out. How do we customize our equipment? Rollers, pistols, repeaters, equip to shoulder, equip to back. Peter and rolling. That's a sniper rifle, isn't it? Shotgun. Compaction shotgun. I'll put that on the back. So that's a two on the back now. Melee. Hunting knife. Hmm. 
volcanic pistol. I should help a little bit. Happy okay, let's go next door. Where's my horse? Uh, Mr. Adelston, thank you for two months. A hey, fifteen chuck. Come on, girl. Make sure the horse is here in case, in case we ask this guy for money and there's like a comedy run out or something. for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? But you want another. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. <laughs> and stay close. Really? Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's <laughs> under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. You said the quote. Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. There's a quote on the entrance that says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. <laughs> oh, damn people. it. There's oh, a bunch what? of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. Mm -hmm. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. <sighs> He's obviously getting his money from immoral places. Your auntie's long past prudent. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! <laughs> that guy's not. Not exactly happy. What's she doing? Look at this. Overgrown and all. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Return to Gwen, who's going to do something all very clear. dodgy. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... Exhumation. Now don't go running off, Gwyn, okay? I take it this is the gate. Howdy. How's it going? Rush level for them 
Oh, that comes our first customer. Hello there, sir. Churchyard's closed. Get out. Oh, my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. I guess you will. Quick as you can. <laughs> Quick as you can. I think these two are coming in. They look like church folk. Why's that gone? You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. <laughs> you look like a choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. <laughs> We're gonna lick you back. Go! Uh, uh, shit! Go on! <laughs> Got some nerve on you. Uh, 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 oh. I forgot the block key. There it is. Still think you're tough? Ah, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Welcome back, Nutter. It's a nice hat. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Oh my god. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. You're out of here. I'm out of here even faster than he is. What about my gun? You're not supposed to shoot anybody in roads. Because Dutch doesn't want any disturbance in roads. Oh my gun, which one? Victorious Mo, thank you for 10 months. Uh, B747, welcome back. I don't see a gun. I ain't sticking around, I get blamed for that. everything we didn't lose anything In time. 
I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Could you uh, please take me to town, please? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Yep. <laughs> wow. Do I know that I could tax it to you? Oh, boy. I didn't trust the guy, so whatever. Is this guy? Oh, is this guy wanting to go fishing again? Hang on, we need to. Um, oh, where's the? I dropped the pelt off. What's that black dot here? What's that black dot on the minimap? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, the chores that you do around the camp. Forgot about that stuff. Yeah, so as well as like look after everyone, chase up debts for the get for our camp, um, deposit food and money, and everything else that we do, we'll also do household chores. Honor and character attributes can be increased by partaking in daily chores around the camp. These efforts will be recognized by the game. Good job, Arthur. Plus five. Look, we've got some honor. There's another one here somewhere. Will one of you ladies please stop pretending and marry me? It's enough now. Oh, yes. Certainly. She will. I don't want to know what's in this bucket. Because, because, look at you. <laughs> what's wrong with me? I'm a good, honest son of the soil. You're too good for me. Hello? Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. There we have, Reverend. We can't just tip it in the water. It has to be tipped in a very specific part. Oh, we're filling. I thought we were empty. UT, thank you for 51. Apparently it's time of the month again. Thank you very much. Like all these people, like you could be carrying this bucket while you're obviously so busy. five dead eye nice that actually does boost your dead eye that's really good heli pilot thank you five months nice so you're getting some chores out of the way dude it's like it's like uh real life <laughs> you know get get your chores done get the dead eye sure i was gonna do something morning, Arthur. morning. i go fishing with this guy so Dutch's latest plan. You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah, I know you like to... But it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. 
Do you know what, Helipilot? I don't really have any performance issues, but I have stability issues. Like, it runs fine, but it just crashes now and again. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Awesome. You always say that, bro. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Any part, have you watched the um, the videos from, I think it was Gaming Nexus, about about settings? Definitely worth looking. Tweet the settings, because he's gone through, like, all of them, if you've got a performance problem. Yeah, I think I I took photos of these settings. I can probably just like Discord them to you. Welcome back, Nata. Which I don't know if I have you on Discord DM. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, one sec. Happy anniversary, Nata. Lol muffins. Thank you, twenty four months, mate. Enjoy your golden acorn. Um, Elk and Panther. So I'm about to give him a perfect elk, aren't I? Just remember, my items are one of a kind. Raccoon. I need to get a perfect raccoon. I'm not really sure where to hunt the raccoon, actually. Beaver, rabbit, and raccoon I need. Happy anniversary, Nata. Need to remember this. Find me the right materials before I can make that. Let's make a shopping list. So we want beaver... Raccoon and rabbit. I have no idea where you get panther from. No idea, but the others I can are feasible. Thanks, Pierce. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Perfect rabbit. We've done that one actually. Oh yes, I'll be able to make you something out of this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right materials and I'll work We could make a tonic out. satchel with the deer, buck, and elk we've given him. So, a tonic satchel will give you more carrying capacity, I assume, for the tonics. Snake Doctor, thank you, 56. Which is the best satchel to get first, do you think? Yeah, we just need a beaver. I don't know where we can get a beaver from. Like, is it worth making that one? Or do we try and save up and get that one? Because that'll take the deer pelt. Miss Roberts? Hosea. Wow, four right, boar pelts. Me. Blimey. Wait, one moose antler. A snakeskin banjo head. Lol. <laughs> What does essential do? So I think they increase your um I think they increase your carrying capacity. A stew with 
about good mead is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you See that one, the kit. One. Provisions, so you can carry more food and stuff. Valuables. Carry more valuables, obviously. And tonics. Carry more tonics. Jeez. Full screen in the game. And Windows allows things to pop up and say, hey, we've got some updates. Like, not Windows updates, just other app updates. I can't see us getting a panther pelt anytime soon. A raccoon is doable. Looks great, Pierce. Give me that. I can turn them off from the settings. But the thing is, I want to, I want to be notified that I have updates. I just don't want to be notified while I'm playing a full screen game. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the difference. Right, let's go and see what this fishing's about. That is what game mode is for. I'm not, I don't know if I've got that enabled. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. Wow. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. Never I saved slapped. your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. <laughs> do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Hey there. This window's you in the game menu. Okay, follow me. I know a great 1903 have the option to have no pop up in full screen. Ah, that's what I need. I'm on 1803, I think. Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? <laughs> because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's your spot? Uh, not much further. Fight Wolf, thanks for 38. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. Strip ashore. Looks perfect. Pick the spot. Fish along Seeing the beach. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. I don't know if we've got worms or crickets. Oh, we've got worms. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. We got that.
You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? <laughs> Ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you could break the line. Like I was telling me how to like. There you go. How to fish, even though we've caught like almost seven kilo fish. Tiny catch, Arthur. That it. One of three bluegill. Best pan fried cheese is a good bait and can increase strikes. Now see if you can hook another. Hmm. Let's switch to cheese. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. Whoa. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? <laughs> hey, watch the line. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. I got down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. No, I'm good. We you hope here for to. Some you haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. I thought he'd been like pulled under then. Hey, wait up! So let me get this straight. We're, we're busy fishing. A naked guy swims past and says, "I know where you can catch some big fish, just down that way." And we're just gonna pack up and move because a naked guy told us. The same naked guy that didn't see two blokes fishing. I almost feel like we're being set up. Shit. I, I think this is the place that naked fella was talking about. I've already been fishing here. Well, that's a big fish. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. 
Careful, Arthur. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. You found a legendary fish location. Wait, I'm sure we already had one of those somewhere else. Well, I knew we did. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. It is spatial law, the type of spatial law is defined by the body of water. Let's go for some river law then, see what we get. Welcome back, Fuse. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. I already bought all the bait I could from the centaur. I don't know if I got the special ones. It was um it was near the swamp area, I think. Dude, can you not row your boat right through the middle of our fishing? First a naked guy. First a naked guy, then a bloke with a boat. Have they got no flipping respect? I'm wondering though, if, because this is kind of in a story, I'm wondering if we should actually just have a piece of cheese or something. <laughs> I think if this one doesn't do anything, I'll switch to cheese or bread. Foul can, take it 10 months. Big. Nope, not the big one. Let's keep trying. Decent size, though. A largemouth bass fish, 1.8 kilos. Put it in his pocket? Nice. I do, Danny. Yeah, they make good See? stuff. Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. <laughs> still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. Like living in a nightmare. Christ. 
If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. I just heard a snake, I'm sure did. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Dude, that's like three goals and gives up. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Uh, it can do, Mark. Yeah, Jostad, thank you for fifty-two months. No, he didn't catch anything. I didn't see him catch anything. That's a big one. Nice. One point nine kilo small mouth bass. Love that. River law, lake law, swamp law. We have to buy some more law. Yeah, I could tell it was a bigger fish just by the way it was moving the water, you know? Uh, I've not seen small fish as a bait yet, Daniel. A fighter. Looks like another one. 1.96. Oh. Right. Last. We've got the last law, so we'll uh, make this the last one. Uh, I 
I think you can sell them, well, you can give them to your camp or you can cook and eat them yourself. I mean, they don't have any massive value. Stability Audi. Uh, it crashed about an hour ago. Or just once today so far. That was in a thunderstorm in town. That's true. I bought a boat, didn't I? I bought a boat and not actually used it. Yeah, I bought a boat for the camp. It was like three hundred dollars or something. Happy anniversary. One eighty-four. Meh. We'll keep it. Mister Thyrox, I'm calling hacks. Seventy-six months, another month. Oh, oh dude, full-on hacks. Is it get some mints or oregano or creeping thyme so we can actually um, Happy add some flavor? Supernova, thank you, 43. Haven't been here for a while, but I'm curious to know what the issue was that stopped Red Dead from working. Uh, it's not. It's not something that anybody can definitively answer. It's a complex issue. There were two kinds of problems. Launch issues and then once you got into the game, either game crashing or game performance issues. And there's, you know, on some hardware setups it required BIOS updates. On other hardware setups it required Windows or driver win, uh, NVIDIA driver updates. On some hardware setups, it's just because of the nature of your CPU, like high frequency, low, co low core count seems to be the worst one. There is no simple answer and it's still not gone away completely. Well, the reason the bias updates the stat, the reason is because, um, again, it's to do with it's to do with how the machine manages the CPU, and the reason it fixes it is because the game has an issue, like I say, with high frequency, low core counts, and how it manages CPU cycles, and a bias update. Some biases are more stable than others in that respect. I don't know. I didn't have that problem, thankfully. <laughs> 